Yagni. Biggie TV there. <laughs> what a friendly bunch we've got here today. Yes. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, hey! Biggie! Hey, hey, hey! Biggie! <laughs> Peter Julian, hello, sir. Eric, oh, thanks yeah. for coming out. Oh, we got yeah. Peter Julian, Jenny Kwan. Thank you so much. <laughs> Jenny Kwan over here. Yes, hi. Hi, hi. Aaron Christensen. I'm Facebook hello? Live hi. here. All right. I was talking to you earlier, and uh, I thought of a song to play. At the end of 2019, we're hoping to see the election of the first new Democratic Party of Canada government. Relaunch. Kevin Doran, Sanford, Idaho. I want to shout out our local MLEs, Katrina Chen and there's all kinds of politicians here. Jamie Evans, Rosh Johan. Hi, I'm Rosh Johan, I'm for Burnaby Edmonds. We are going to win. Burnaby South, Jagmeet Singh, uh, he's having kind of a launch party of sorts, if you will. And John Lennon was right. You can have a revolution overnight. Welcome our great leader, Jagmeet Singh. Yeah, rise on up. Change your circumstance. All right. When you're the Jagmeet Singh headquarters here. Royal Potentially the next Prime Minister of Canada. Alright, alright, oh boy, oh boy, he's excited. That. He's got fans all over the house here. This is great! Wow! Yes. So how are things going in Victoria? Going really well. John Horgan is doing a wonderful job making sure that life becomes more affordable for all British Columbians. Okay. Thanks everybody! Wow! Thank you! Oh, and we got City Councilor Mr. Wong himself is here! We are helping seniors, bringing more health care to different communities, laws to protect workers. So, so many things are happening. Why do you get into this crazy yacht? Uh, this is my fourth term. In wow. Miami. You know, like even if you have one person a week, yep. that's something that you know, I really enjoy. It's so important that people's voices are heard in the parliament, in the legislature. Okay. And that's what I do, and I enjoy it. So you're speaking for people that don't have a voice. That's right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Esther said that Cope speaks for a lot of people, if I, if I may speak for you, that don't speak for themselves. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your energy. Keeping people first. That's the whole idea. People first. People first. <laughs> not the corporation, not the big big. You know, like we are talking about real people. That's what we are doing. Lovely words. I love it. Thank you so much, sir. There's a trend. This government again and again is telling Canadians, telling people to wait. Potentially Canada's next prime minister, Jagmeet Singh. At the same time, people are having to make a tough decision. An incredibly hard decision between housing and heating and cost of living and purchasing medication, life-saving medication. They're just telling people to wait. Can't afford to wait. People can't afford to wait. He is preparing for the best. They're saying wait while they give billions of dollars in tax giveaways to corporations. One thing I'll say about liberals, if I've ever seen a wolf in sheep's clothing, it's been this right-wing neoliberalism right now running our country with corporate interests, wealthy donors' interests at heart. While at the same time people are being laid off, their pensions are being stolen, again they're telling people to wait. They're saying wait! I like the NDP, I like progressive people that are committed to democracy and equality. Hello! I love the, the fact that people are very aware. Hello, sir. They're, uh, they're knowledgeable, they are passionate. Hello! How are you? You want to get on Big E TV? Yeah. 
Oh. All right, what's your name? Tasha. Hi, Tasha. I'm Hi. Eric. And what brings you out today? I like supporting the NDP. Yeah, why is that? Because they're very passionate about uh, everyone having people's rights. They've got so their basic rights of all income levels. Only true progressive democratic socialist movement here in North America. You know it. Center of the universe. I lived here uh, almost all my life. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, cool. And what do you love about Burnaby? We got the parks and recreation oh, oh. and the friendly people. Uh, I'm sorry, what was that? Parks, parks and recreation and friendly people. I was raised to be responsible, um, at least this was how I was raised in, in Canada, I was raised to be responsible for information and and not be ignorant and go and watch the news every night. You know, I had excellent teachers who enforced the value of that. All <laughs> right, look at that. Julian in the back. Hey, don't forget Big ETV, Dagme. Oh, Big oh, ETV there. <laughs> I wrote the song is to try and do something about it. Blue, what's with the blue color? I thought oh, that was the... It's good colors. Is it? have to mix it up. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, and here we have the Muffin Lady. Hello, ma'am. How are you? Good, how are you? Hey, nice to see you again. What was your name again? Okay, Maxine, now, why are you getting up early to bake fresh muffins for Jagmeet Singh today? They come here and support the colors. They support, you know, good housing and good farm equipment. not doing this in the best interest of Canadians. They're doing it in their own political interest. And that's deeply disappointing. This government has laid it out that people are not their priority. They have made it clear, people know they are not the priority to this government. Devil is the distance between. Here I am, I build it with my dreams. Body riding a bloody scene. It's simply not what it seems. Governments in Ottawa for too long have made decisions that have time and time again made life harder for families. It doesn't have to be this way. We can change this. We are going to change this. I'm determined to take on Ottawa. We can take on Ottawa and we can change things. And we can change things. And we can change things. I am not afraid. I am not afraid. I am not afraid. I am not afraid. I am not afraid, I am not afraid, I am not afraid, I am not afraid. I am very impressed with uh, Jagmeet Singh. I thought he was strong on power and politics today. I look forward to seeing him again. Vasha Kalapas, uh, and she was a little too much power in her politics, if you ask me. We can and we must defend our environment and invest our public resources, our public dollars. If you look at Kinder Morgan, they're not on the side of the environment and looking at all of these clean, alternative energies that are going to be our future. No. Not in pipelines, but in the economy of the future. A green economy. Alternative energies, waste into nat that turns into natural gas. Outside the box, innovative thinking. This is all possible together, my friends, and we're going to make it happen together. Now. 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 electrification of transportation and it's going to benefit the planet and we're going to lead by example that is innovative thinking the concerns that people have in Burnaby uh, are concerns that are national concerns and what's your name I'm Donna. hey Donna hey, it's nice, nice to meet you hey I've been part of the party since 1970 1970 oh my goodness I'm more excited about Germany than ever before no. Tell me how what I'm going to do is take on Ottawa Take the concerns that I've heard from the streets, from the people, and make sure that we force this government to do something on this crisis. Instead of telling people to wait, we're saying we can't afford to wait. I love your energy. You are very aware. Yes. We need action, and we're going to push this government to actually to implement policies that make people laugh. I'm grateful for the talk. But this man will do something about it. How can we make people's lives better and what's at stake for people? And what's at stake for people is, is a lot. It's like a basketball game of grade sixes where everybody follows the ball, you know? <laughs> Look at that, you got all kinds of supporters all over the place. I should like to see the conversation going towards like what you do, play soccer and have like a proactive approach to health and wellness, right? Oh yes, actually, yeah, it's very important physical aspect. Campaign office, if you look behind me, there is the SkyTrain station. This is the Edmund SkyTrain station. 
Oh, here's the Muffin Woman right here. All right, look at you got your pom poms and everything going. And it's not a bad day today. No, not bad at all. It's gorgeous out. Uh, their lives are getting more and more difficult, more and more expensive, and we're not seeing relief in sight. And so I'm committed to making sure that people know with a new Democrat MP, you've got someone in your corner willing to fight for you to make your life better. The people are really nice out here. Very much so. Oh my goodness. Who is that guy behind you there? We just saw Jagmeet Singh. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. I love soccer and basketball because I mean, not only you get a great workout, but it's social, right? You're with your friends and you're, you're doing stuff. You're in the outdoors and it hits so many markers for me. He's gonna win. <laughs> Patience count. Yeah, yeah. All walks of denominations here. We got women, we got men, we got old people, we got young people. All right. We got folks with turbans on their heads, and we got the LGBT community represented today. Bernie aside, what happens to the party as a whole if this goes out for you? Well, we're not going to let that happen. We actually need to see those concerns and those problems that people are faced with raised in Ottawa and then forcing this government to do something about it. Everybody is here. Um, I love that kind of inclusion and uh, I think Jagmeet Singh is going to be a fantastic guy to uh, bring Canadians together. That's what I can do and that's what I'm committed to do. Yep. Uh, oh my goodness, is our country not a, a country of the have and the have not? In 2017, these chartered banks made $38.5 billion in profits and meanwhile, <laughs> there he goes, there's the man. The fact that I met young people in this community, in the city of Burnaby, who tell me with so much passion and conviction that they want to live in the city. They love this community, they love their home. And meanwhile, we've got consumer debt in Canada, per capita, get this folks, the highest in the world. Despicable when you think about how wealthy, how rich our nation is. And they can't imagine a future where they can actually own a place in this community. They can't even imagine a, a future where they can rent a place. And I'm here to do something about it. I think everyone here is doing something about it. And that to me is heartbreaking. Uh, and I want people to know that that's a reality that doesn't just exist here in Burnaby South, but across Canada. It's so cool to interview like-minded people that have a brain, that know how to think, and who give a sh**. <laughs> hey man, how you doing? Instead of worrying about this life-threatening disease, when I asked them what they were worried about, they said, I'm worried about how much this costs my parents. And that's a reality that I want people to know about. What's your name? Uh, my name is Raju Bhadrai. What brings you here today? It's an issue, not only me, it's an issue yeah. of all Canadians. Come inside this picture! Alright, alright, it's picture time, picture time. Come on, Prime Minister Trudeau, bring it! Keeping people first, that's the whole idea. People first. People first. <laughs> All right, hey, so what are you so happy about? You look pretty excited over there. There he is now. Oh, he's walking around. Very famous people. I believe that's Jenny Kwan there in the back. That's so cool that you're out here supporting Jagmeet Singh. I asked uh, you better get up front there. I need to see you there. The important people. I'm, I could be at the back here. I'm not that important. Like, uh, I, never, I can't even think about the houses. I'm living in a basement, a small basement right, with a poor right. family. There he is now. Oh, he's walking around. I've grown up in India, but I'm India. basically I'm from Nepal. Oh, Nepal. Yeah. Oh, the Nepalese. All right, got a picture going there. Oh, look at all of these people. Wow, <laughs> baby, I'm with Jagmeet Singh. We need to cover medication. We need to cover more in our healthcare system. There's no question about it. And then how do we pay for all of this? Well, we can't afford not to pay for it. Ugandan. Oh, Ugandan. No yeah. way. I was just interviewing a guy. Robert Ukumu from uh, Gulu, Uganda. As a teacher, you have to follow the syllabus. Right, exactly. And it is established by the Ministry of Education. Oh, yes, I'm you know from that? Gulu. Too. Are you from Gulu? Yes. Yeah, no way. <laughs> and what brings you out today, may I ask? Because it is the system. Because it is the system. The system. The system. The system. The system. The system. $4 billion uh, would be saved if we actually had a universal uh, health care system included medication. How so? How can because we save this, right? Good job. Yeah, yeah. Not I think that's the issue. Not yeah, right, yeah. right. You can't live on minimum wage in a city like Burnaby. Yeah. It's too expensive. What would happen is when people go to the health hospital and get care, um, and they get better, 
hospital, mm-hmm. treated with an illness, what happens is, as soon as they leave the hospital, they can't actually continue to have that medication. You're very uh, eloquent the way you speak, man. Oh, you're very welcome. Impressed. And so they fall more uh, ill once again, and then go back to the, to the healthcare system. Okay. And otherwise, they can maintain their illness. They can maintain yeah, yeah. Their, their health. Yeah, and right. and that, that's a massive saving. Does that resonate with you, sir? Yeah, exactly, that's true. This corporate welfare that we're seeing is ridiculous, and it's got to stop. Nom, 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 now. Decent living where they can buy a home and provide for their families. That's, that's and why people came here, yeah. And then, but uh, uh, with this government, what we are thinking, it's not possible. We need to change. We need to change. We need to change. Our planet, our environment, and our entire way of life. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Okay, this stuff is getting serious right now. So get out and vote, folks. Get out and vote. But I'm going to try to have a conversation that's a little bit bigger than ourselves. It's the devil in the distance calling. I am not afraid. I am not afraid. I am not afraid. I am not afraid. Yes, sing it. I am not afraid. I am not afraid. I am not afraid. I am not afraid. <laughs> I just want to raise one more issue. Friends, like you guys all are watching. Medicare for everyone. Why we need that? Why we need that? I need for my wife. I need an IUD. Which costs like $380. Right? not afraid. I am not afraid. not affordable to get that it means i'm keep getting the kids or i'm not having sex with my wife what does it mean you gotta so, have sex so with the it. wife yeah it means that right yeah. so yeah so because that, that's how the issue <laughs> hey jack beat that's c why here we, want, we yeah, are that's why we want this guy to be win and we have to have a medical care i don't know that's right. <laughs> i don't know well, he's well. saying he's gonna have better sex with his wife yes, though if, he, if, if you get a prime buy, minister i can have an iud oh to my buy goodness. for that the you know, promises to, it's got 380 dollars to buy an iud <laughs> yeah. for my wife and i can't able to afford that so it means i can't i have to be far away from oh that right? my I don't goodness want to have a thank you and you are a goal honestly <laughs> both of you thank you so much what yeah, is your stance us. on yes. that jack you saying you know what that's one of those things i just step out of that car <laughs> oh, mm. thanks, sweetie. Thank you. Oh, she said you're adorable yourself.